welcome back to the channel and today you find me in the middle of a trail looking to see if I can find some grip uh, and in that I mean are you generating grip through your pedals through your tires to the ground because I've probably noticed the last few rides I ain't and a few people I ride with have, have maybe tried to steer me in that direction so Will that follows me a few times has mentioned I'm maybe dragging my left foot rather than keeping it level although I'm my left foot tends to be the one behind my right foot in front my left foot is the strongest foot so maybe I'm putting a bit more weight through that uh, but what I tend to be finding since I certainly since I switched up to the 29 I'm going that bit faster I'm I may be doing steeper chunkier trails uh, and for that purpose I'm tending to keep my feet level heels dropped and just kind of riding through the chunk if that makes sense rather than looking at the trails and picking my lines and you know heel down bike body separation lean the bike in get your body over the bike dig in on the corner knobs etc etc so I've just you know I had a few little uh, videos I was doing a head cam uh, on this very same trail the other day and I noticed my knees staying level hence my feet staying level so I wasn't dropping my feet as I thought I certainly wasn't looking around the bend with my head uh, you know where your head goes your, your shoulders your hips and your feet follow I was just keeping everything in line and looking round with my eyes but not moving my head uh, maybe I just become a lazy rider um, as speed is picked up I've come a bit more safe so today is about coming up to one of my favorite routes Burr malicious plenty of rooty berms off camber as well uh, to make sure I get a bit more grip and just look at the line choice so it's not really a how-to it's more a you know, self-analysis, question yourself, what are you doing, how are you doing it and, and people you ride with, you know, could they offer you some pointers as the ones I've been riding with. So I'll put a little footage here now, just uh, maybe showing that footage of me looking down uh, from the helmet. Here you see uh, some of the big nose, but you can just see all the turns I'm taking, you know, my feet aren't moving really and, and neither is my head. Uh, together with that, riding Cum Khan Airstream the uh, Airstream 2. A few times I've followed Matt into that and he always pulls away and that's a, a route with hard pack. There's berms, there's jumps but there's a lot of flat turns and equally I noticed I was keeping my feet level all the way through and not creating grip and, and pushing through the bends and generating speed coming out. So I'll maybe put a little clip of him following me uh, and, and just showing you again my, my body posture. So a couple of little things to flick through, a bit of a ramble on, I'll put, uh, hopefully get this camera on a tripod and just show you some footage, let's see how it gets on. So thanks for watching, appreciate your time today. Uh, it's not meant to be a how-to, it's meant to be a do you, I suppose. Uh, just make you stop and think if you're looking to improve. If all you ever do is go out and do what you've always done, you know, you're always going to get the same results. So I often stop, think, ask myself, ask others, what am I doing, how can I improve? Uh, go and research it, come and practice it. So I'm going to go and do another loop and put all that line spot in, looking forward, head around the bend, dropping my pedals, weighting my, my bars, pushing the, the, the tyres into the ground if you like. Uh, so it's meant to be more thought provoking, uh, to look at yourselves, see if there's areas you want to work on. I've been working on my drops, steeps, jumps, uh, everything basically. Uh, and obviously when you change your bike, everything changes as well. I've probably wrecked two or three pairs of shorts now, buzzing me bum on the back of that tyre. And now there's a new hands down from the back, uh, more grip, but it's just going to shred more more short until I can get used to not going down that extra inch. 
Uh, anyway, bambling. Hopefully the uh, the clips make sense. And it's a bit obvious, maybe not, as to which line works best. Hopefully I'm getting that body bike separation. If not, I'm going to look at that, come back and practice some more, and keep practicing. Uh, but get out there. Put down in the comments below what, what it is you're working on, uh, where you look to go. Do you have a favourite track that you try those skills on? Um, but as always, guys, thanks very much for your support. Appreciate your comments. Great if you give a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Uh, keep improving the channel. Once the lockdown's over, hopefully we can go further afield and start taking in some more bike parks. Uh, but if you're enjoying the footage, please share. And awesome if you subscribe and uh, keep pushing the channel. As always, guys, happy days. And keep riding those blue sky trails. Okay, to the next one.